All right, let's do it. Let's do it, guys. Today it's Thursday, so we are just playing some games. Hopefully, we get to analyze them. We get to answer any questions you might have. If you missed Thursday, I mean Tuesday's uh, tactics training, feel free to check it out. And that's it. I already see a game here, so let's take it. And let me see if I can find the chat right here. All right, let's do it. All right, man, let's make this one your 32 move checkmate. All right, so we start with the black pieces. We're playing against D4. Let's give it G6. Hello, hello, hello. <laughs> Now we're playing a 10 minute game, so no need to go crazy and play fast. Okay, so we're playing the same-ish. Um, should we try to... Uh, let me try this. Um, Alright, let's do this. Hey, 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 hey. <laughs> Hello guys, nice to see you here. Thursday again, I know, I don't know for you, but for me, this week went by too quickly too quickly okay okay i think this is a free pawn um and th this is a, a good example if you see a move that is not what the theory recommends but it's not what, what it, that is not what we typically see we gotta ask ourselves why is it that no one plays it and bishop d3 seems natural but it's blocking the queen from defending the pawn now i might be missing something but i don't think so Okay, back to safety, I'm up a pawn, and it is a central pawn, very important. Ha, huh, that's a good question, that's a good question, that's a good, you know, I don't think I have, fa it's hard for me to have favorite anything, I don't have any favor, uh, favorites, but when it comes to sports, uh, always that I enjoyed, I, baseball was one of the main ones, uh, so I guess baseball, uh, I play soccer and I like it, but it was not like top, top. Um, tennis I liked, but even though, when it came, instead of tennis, we used to play the one that is against the wall. So it's not like uh, the, the regular one, it's more, I think I think it's racquetball, how they call it. Um, all right, castle. I mean, if you if you count chess as a, as a sport, we could throw it out there, but <laughs> we could throw it in there, but we don't know. All right, so C5, controlling that square. If I could, if I could put my knight on D4, I'm happy about that. Yeah, that's, that's what we're doing, guys. This is the first game. It's a, a challenge that I had from when I started to stream, so I just took it. But yeah, we're just doing challenges. Um, And there you go, there you go. Now, being up a pawn, I'm okay with simplification. Uh, careful not to get checkmated, because now, you see, my opponent is trying to complicate the game. What? what? I know. Now, notice that when I played e5, I left d6 weak. So this is a backward pawn. We talked about it on lesson 42, 43, but I'm planning to go knight d4. Now, let me first play f6. If I don't play f6, they could play f6 themselves and then bring the queen around. So let me do it myself. And boom, that's it. Forget about the d file. This is ours. If they ever take us, we just continue to keep it sealed with a pawn. Okay, this knight, I could kick it out at some point with the bishop. How about take, nah. All right, g5. I don't have a dark square bishop anyways, so I'm okay with closing everything. Careful with the light squares, by the way. Okay, so they're saying they don't really care about us. They don't really care about us. So, knight h5. Mm -mm -mm. Now, let me go bishop d7. 
I don't want to underestimate this move, but I think we're going to be fine. Thank you, thank you. Uh, no, very close. I'm very, very close. Uh, I'm uh, Cuban. Very close to Dominican Republic. <laughs> yeah, yeah. <laughs> yeah, they, it's like they play with your with your feelings and then they checkmate you. But hey, 30 moves, that's pretty good. And the most important thing is you have a very nice game to analyze afterwards. <laughs> hey, hey, nice to have you here. Uh, what do we have here? Okay, so now we hide. Ah, uh, maybe this was better. Ah, we'll see. We'll see. Good, good so far. And you know, the weekend is around the corner, so everything is good. India, India in the house. How are you? <laughs> <laughs> well, look, it's a matter of time. Uh, keep training, keep learning consistently. And in no time, you're going to look back and you're going to be like, Nelson, come on. Now, the thing with Nelson is that Nelson doesn't follow any of the, the principles that we have talked about, like develop the minor pieces and so on. But he's very tricky. He's moving the queen around, looking for checks, for things. And even though it's challenging right now, it's going to give you what you need. You need that. You need to be able to detect threats, to create threats yourself. So keep, keep playing until you defeat Nelson, that's your guy. But you'll see, once you improve your vision of the board, which is going to happen mainly by playing, you're just going to stop his, his, his uh, tricks, you're going to be good to go. Hey, hey, hey. Well, that uh, raises the same question as always. Does that song love you? That's, that's the main question. There you go, there you go. Hello, the Philippines. I gotta pay you a visit. Gotta pay you a visit. Okay, so time to start kicking those pieces out. The knight left. They don't want me to take it. Fine. Uh, let's see what they're gonna do about this guy. Yeah, queen e8, good. Ooh, there's no tactic here for us. Nothing. Oh, no, no, no. Of course not. Okay, so let me just go um, a6. Now, guys, it looks like the position is locked, but we got to try to find ways to open it. We got to create something. We have an extra pawn, but that's not going to be enough, right? Okay, so queen left. I mean, knight left. Um, there we go. Let's try to play on the queen side. Uh, you know, um, if you go, try to go to, uh, if you go to the YouTube channel, go to Lesson 102, where we talked about the, the training plan, um, I would rather have you combine the two. So have a, a day of the week where you do longer time controls and just have a day of the week. It could be Friday. Just last day of your training, you do some blitz and you keep it in a healthy balance uh, with that. Okay, no bullet. You don't need the bullet, but I would say a little bit of both, okay? Now notice that we could have taken and opened up the B file, but we could do B4, A5, A4, right? So this is going to be now our target pawn, the pawn in front of our most forward pawn. You know, I don't, I don't know, but I don't think so. I think for you to have like official FIDE, you have to, especially with all of this craziness now with the online cheating and so on, I would say you need in-person over the board tournaments, okay? So most likely 
um, we could look into it, but most likely you have to go to over the board tournaments to have that rating that you want for, for titles, okay? <laughs> yeah, it's uh, we are we are going crazy left, right, left, right. But you know, um, I think they have better chances on the king side, so I want to attack where they are weaker. So, oof, should I take that? I was thinking, guys, like this tactic 92, and if they take, I get the queen. But the thing is that the queen could take on e2, so <laughs> that's not happening. All right, I'm gonna chop that off, okay. Okay, let's do it. Now, Monster Knight in the center. I like it, I like it. Now, we could do a four at any moment. We don't have to hurry up, okay? Hello, hello, hello. You're right, tactics, 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 tactics. Especially if you are under 1500, guys, you don't need much more, okay? And don't fall in the trap of oh openings, opening tra uh, opening traps, opening tac uh, uh, opening tricks. You don't need any of that, okay? Tactics, practice. Tactics, practice. All right. So if I go here, yeah, let's do it. Let's not delay. Ooh, yeah, we're good. We're good. Yeah, guys, we're playing. Uh, I got this challenge for a ten-minute game, but we could do five, five, three, two even bullet anything we're here today to um, practice okay so you have a good time so send me any any time control you like okay let's get ready I don't want to get ahead of myself guess take a guess all right so Yeah, yeah, that was coming, but it's fine. We, we got this under control. <laughs> oh, thank you, guys. Thank you, guys. But I already, ha I already hit 30 years old. I'm already 30. Yep, yep, yep. Okay, so they, now the king side is completely locked. You know, I, di I didn't know that, honestly. I didn't know. I didn't know. So, there you go. There you go. Okay. Is this a free? No, it's not free. Okay, guys. So, now I took care of these two pawns. <laughs> Let's see if we can finally do something with my open file. Now, this is still in the air. Now it's safe to take because the rook is not here anymore. Mm -mm -mm. Take and then knight b3 or knight b3 first. Tactics in the air. You see, the moment we secured everything, we went down there, we were ready to continue with uh, tactics. Tactics in the air. Pieces are active. Tactics are in the air. Let's see, we got minute and 42 seconds to finish this. No increment. Now only one open file and we own that file. Probably rook a3 was just as good, but no need to rush guys. We're gonna find out if that's the way to go or not. Mm. 
Now, the, what I like the most about this game or this position is that my opponent has no counter play. Nothing on the king side, everything is sealed. So there we go. Now it's two connected pass pawns. Uh, let me go check. Actually, we have three pass pawns. Oof, that king is locked in here. Actually, very interesting. The king cannot go anywhere. Okay, now, how do we win this? You know, this is probably not the most efficient way to do it, but I'm gonna bring my king around to help. There's no checkmate here, no? There you go, absolutely. Was, is it 101? <laughs> is it 101? Guys, we got that one uh, again. Our opponent blunder upon in the opening, so from that moment on, it's just easy for us to have a plan and just keep it simple. Okay, um, <laughs> yeah, that's true. That's true. That's true, man. That's true. After they played you four, that's always in the air. <laughs> All right, so let me go to the next one. And okay, so I have this one here. Let's do it. You know, I, I was, uh, <laughs> I put in the thumbnail that I was going to play e4 and I'm getting the black pieces over and over. Okay, so should we play that? Let me play d6, then we go into e5. Uh, let's see if we can play some Karokan, some Scandinavian, Sicilian. Exactly. Okay. 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 So I think that was one seven. No, one twenty three. One twenty two. I think. <laughs> one hundred one is about uh, playing against the isolated queen pawn. <laughs> well. It doesn't matter. It doesn't matter. We won. We won. Come on. Mm, 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 mm. That's true, man. That, that, that's true. That's true. They had that nice idea. Yeah, you're right. You're right. You're right. You're right. I was trying to be fancy, and they had that resource. Okay, guys, so we cannot do bishop g4. Let's go with c6. There's also an interesting idea of playing e5 right away. That's always in the air. Yeah, you're right. I mean, there, was there nowhere, nowhere around it? I guess. Well, maybe maybe I could because I just need to move my rook and, and he's off the hook. Nah, nah, probably not. Well, it's not going to be the first time. You don't know how many games I have blown. Yep, yep, yep. Queen a5, no. Now again, we're bringing our opponent into our territory. We know this setup, we're gonna be fine. We gotta fight for e5, and it happened. It's, it seems like we are one move away from it. Are we? I'm just taking challenges. Look, if I go here, um, let me see. How, how can I show you? Well, I don't think I can. 
So I'm just accepting challenges as they come in, okay? That's all. And if you guys have any questions, feel free to ask now. Hello, hello, hello. Yeah, 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 many times we just play a5 to stop them. And if my with my knight being here, like I could have played, actually it's a very nice idea, a5, then I go knight a6, knight b4. And since the a pawn is advanced, they cannot kick me out easily. So I have a very nice square for my knight. <laughs> All right, so this we knew was coming. So what if we just go... Not h5. Yeah, let's do it. Uh, maybe pawn takes, pawn takes was better, now that I think about it. Oof, you know, uh, we have talked about that, every, I think every stream we talk about it, and to get to a thousand, all you need to do is play uh, not blunder like even up to 12 1300 not blunder p so how do you get better at that well the more you play the more you do tactics your puzzles the better you're gonna get a vision of the board but also try to be conscious when you move right like if your opponent makes a move what is he attacking what is he trying to do that said if you just avoid dropping a piece for free if and i did this with a, a good friend um and i do it with all of my students when we start if i look at your games Take the last 10 games. You're going to see that in the first 20 moves, either you or your opponent blundered a piece, a clean piece. That's that's a fact. If you're below a 1,000, a that's a fact. So we just got to work on, on that, little by little. No, no, you know, blundering pieces, even grandmasters. Like, I, I, just, I don't know if you saw Prague blundering checkmate in one move. Like, these things happen. The problem is when they happen often. If they happen every game or they happen uh, every five games, it shouldn't be the case. Now, occasionally, yes, you've seen me here, guys, blundering everything, but it's not something that happens all the time. Or maybe it does. <laughs> okay, so I was ready to do knight f4, they said, maybe tomorrow. Okay, so rookie eight. Yep, yep, yep. Tricky, tricky, tricky. Opposite side, castling attack. How do we go about this? Thanks. Well, two weeks, 800, that's that's actually impressive. So that means you came in with a natural uh, uh, disposition. Like you, you have, it's easy for you to visual, um, to have a good, you have a good vision of the board naturally. Like, believe it or not, many of, uh, one of the big challenges that I have with my beginners is that they don't have a good vision of the board. So things like realizing that, for example, this rook is attacking the bishop or that these two queens are in the same diagonal. Some people have it naturally, some other people, they really struggle with it for a while. Once they pick it up, boom, they, they, they move forward quickly. But in two weeks, 800, that's good. That's actually really, really good. Yeah, yeah, yeah. You know, I, I have a student of mine, I actually have two, who we are at that stage now, we're getting really good at um, attacking, opposite side castling attack, right? So first the king in the center, then opposite side castling attack. And yeah, you have to guys, even if you don't like it, you have to get some experience with that. All right. 
Um, I think my opponent likes it too. Likes it too because he's, he's definitely getting me in trouble here. Uh, okay, so let's go with b5. Mm -hmm, mm -hmm. Yep, tactics and play. A lot of it goes goes down to goes back to that tactics and play, tactics and practice. Thank you, thank you. <laughs> no, look, in that case, you just need to um, you just need to continue playing normally, like develop your bishop, knight b to the seven, challenging that knight on e five. So it seems harmless, but we need to know what we're doing. We need to know what we're doing. Okay, guys, so here we go. C bay five. Remember, we don't really care about dropping a pawn. It's all about that king opening up lines. If I could, I would give these pawns for free. I would make them disappear. I just need lines towards that king. Like if they just take with, with the knight, that's mate. If they take with the bishop, I don't even know what we're gonna do next. Probably knight e4. But we have lines towards that king. Now, if they want to get to my king, they still need a few moves. Okay, knight b1. They said, I'm not going to get the pawn. Okay, so this is something, look, easy blunder here if, if we're not careful. <laughs> um, I don't want to go down there right now. We could get trapped. We could, we easily could. How about queen c7? Hmm. Yeah, let me go queen c7. Now, if you just want a quiet game, just go to trade queens, but we're gonna try to continue to complicate the game. Now, once I move my bishop, rook c8, it's gonna be nice. Exactly, so now we want to, Hikaru is on point. Is this Hikaru? <laughs> so we just need to come up with moves that exact, that make them think. So calculate two, three, four moves down the road, they won't be able to calculate that fast, unless you're playing Hikaru. <laughs> um, Energetic moves. Mm -hmm. Now, for that, still, main priority should be tactics and chan chan chan, take takes. We just go down. Yeah. So, still tactics, but you need to start. You need to start paying more attention to your end games. Okay. So, a lot of your games now, since you're not blundering so much, they're gonna take. They're gonna make it to the end game. And right there, you need to be able to know what you're doing, okay? So I, I was having a lesson yesterday with one of my students, and he was showing me a couple games that he, one game that he was losing, and he was able to win at the end, because his opponent, even though his opponent outplayed him nicely in the opening middle game, in the end game, it's like he was playing someone completely different. He didn't know anything about end games. So what they got from night end game to king and pawn end game, and his opponent just didn't, seem to know even the basic opposition concepts and so on so we gotta study more end games that's what's gonna make the difference at that level okay guys i think we just trade and give me the knight we're up a piece now in my opponent's defense it was long time so it's it's, it's not so easy to play under time pressure <laughs> there you go all right guys we got this one as well let's go to the next one and again those of you who are just joining i'm just taking challenges as they come so five five oh we got the white pieces for the first time so i 
I announced I'm gonna play E4, so let's do it. Lesson 29, guys, lesson 29. Um, what did I say I was gonna play against this? Let me try this. You know, no one does. People, some, many people find them boring and people just fascinated by openings and, and tactics and they forget about that until they get to 1800, 1900, 2000, but then it's just a little bit too late. They have to go back and study end games. Ideally, you'll be on a weekly basis hitting every area, openings, middle games, and end games. Now, notice how we went from Pierce defense to King's Indian defense, okay? So always be alert. That, that's all we're doing, guys. That's all, that's all we're doing. We're streaming. This stream is for YouTube. I'm sending it to Twitch as well because we have the option. And I'm just taking your challenges, okay? Yeah, that only means one thing. You need to study it. That's what you need to study. Well, ultimately, what we want, you mean right away? Uh, no, I don't think so. But ultimately, in, the, in all of these hyper modern openings, you're looking to play e5 or c5, even d5, to strike the center. Interesting move. Upper back, you mean as white or as black? Ah, he did it. He did it. There you go, there you go. Actually, you're right. That night, night G4 idea, we see it in the Sicilian. Yup, yup, yup. Yup, yup, yup. It was interesting to look into the into ninety three instead of taking B takes C six. Okay, I'm not even gonna worry about that pawn. I just cannot get uh, allow them to get to F two. So now we castled, and I feel like we're a little bit ahead in development. So let's see. I always send you guys to lesson 102, okay? We talked about a training plan, what to do on a weekly basis, just four days a week. And if you do it consistently, you have to see an improvement. There's no way around it. <laughs> You're lucky I don't have his email or phone number because I will be calling them right now, man. I'll be calling them right now. All right, so let's get this night out of here. Okay, now look, same pattern, two squares away from the knight. At some point we could even do a four, maybe bishop e3, a four, interesting. What do you mean, there has to be a tutorial already on the clock, what clock do you, do you buy? Yeah, what, what you're describing, it happens to all of us. Every time you move up to, to a new level, you need to adjust. So let's say you go from 900 to 1,000. It's not like, oh, I got to 1,000. This is No, they're going to send you back to 900 until you, it's going to be like this, right? Finally, you break through, you never look back. But it's going to take some time to adjust. Now, that level that you are at, tactics, tactics, tactics. Uh, there, this puzzle rush here on chess.com, there are many websites where you could do puzzle rush. So... Puzzle Rush is very useful, do regular tactics, play games. That by itself is going to help you a lot. I know on Lesson 10, guys, we talked about exercises you could do to improve your vision, your vision of the board, but I don't think you need that at this, at this level. Check them out anyways, but I don't think that's what you need. All right, so Bishop E3, F4, got to be careful with this guy. 
d5 is coming so let me just go queen c2 so i'm getting away from this file and i bring more defense to the knight Same thing for you, my friend. Go to, especially for you, if you go to Lesson 102, you're going to see. I even recommended some specific books, and that's going to be more appropriate for that rating, for that level. Now, comfortable position, I have to say, um, as the white pieces. It's like, the, it's like the pieces are telling you where to go next. Rook goes to d1. I want to play a four. Hmm. Is it trying to play d5? F4, but then what after a four? Hmm. Oh, f5. Okay, f4, f5. So you see that if your intuition is developed properly, candidate moves, you look at three candidate moves, one of them has to be right. F4 is like, play me, play me, play me. But then what do we do after? Well, f5. And I think we get material, but even if we didn't, we are definitely starting to attack that king. Hello, 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 mister. How are you? <laughs> you see, that's the, ba that's the main thing. If you're, 800, if, you're, if you're 800, last thing you should be worrying about is openings at all. Just when it comes to opening the beginning of the game, all you should be doing at the 800 level is try to control the center. So don't play pawns on the edges or anything like that at the beginning. Uh, develop your knights and bishops, castle, then play chess, play chess. And I know you guys want something more structured, but um, you don't need that. You don't need that. You just need to play, play, play. Simplification. Pon, pon, pon. Nah. Okay, so we're up a piece now. We found a new line for our rook. F5 still in the air. Uh, actually, 28 is actually pretty good. Yes, it is good. It is good. But still, keep pushing, keep pushing. Get to that next level. Right. Just improve our pieces one move at a time, little by little. Yeah, uh, I first game today was a 10 minute game. I'm just take as long as you don't go, guys, to 15, 10, or 30 minutes, we should be fine. Now, with that said, you're probably better off with 5 5. It's gonna be probably the same amount of time, plus, you have that increment to help you in the in time pressure. <laughs> Especially the Dragon Sicilian is tricky, so tricky. And guys, you do not need, the last thing you want is structure like that when you're a beginner. Because the more we help you, let's say I give you a recipe that is going to keep you safe for the first 50 moves. You're just missing on so many skills that you acquire by just playing on your own without any guidance. If you just develop the, uh, the minor pieces, control the center, castle, you're playing chess, you're making silly mistakes, but after 200 games, you get skills that you're not going to get if I guide you through the opening every time, okay? And the Dragon Sicilian is tough. It is tough. Now, when my, my students play the Sicilian, it's because we review games, like we're talking about opposite side castling attack, and I show them a Kasparov game. And they say, oh, I like this opening, and they start playing C5, but we don't really go deep into it. They start playing the first few moves, see what happens, and that's it. Eventually, we, pre we prepare it better. All right, so with all of that talk, let me see. Mm -mm -mm. Hmm. Guys, go to remember. Remember, the YouTube channel is basically a course that you could follow. It's in order, it's numbered for a reason. So start from just scan. You don't have to click on it. Scan through the titles, and on lesson twenty, no, thirty something, thirty one, we start talking about openings. So just go through it, um, and on fifty one, we talk about another opening. Sixty nine, eighty five. 
uh, and, and, and go on, okay? So just scan. If there's something that you find interesting, click on it, take a look. And also on lesson 72, we talked about how to prepare any opening you like. Good, good. Here's surviving, surviving. Interesting game so far. I think we have uh, a comfortable position, but still we have to be careful not to blunder. We talked about blunders already. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I was looking at Queen D8, believe it or not, but no need. No need, guys. <laughs> All right, let's see if someone plays E5. No need, exactly, exactly. No need to go for that. No need to go for that. Yeah, now this is just, uh, it's just too much, guys. We're hitting the queen. Whatever we take after is going to be with, with a discovery check. But still, like, this seems to be the best move, but we have time. Let's, let's think. Is there anything better? Ninety five. 5 Nah. Let's not act like we are. <laughs> we just take the rook. That's what we want. That's it. Come on, give it to me, give it to me. Oh, no, no. I was ready for the disco for that smother mate. Good game, good game. So guys, yeah, I'm just taking challenges. So if you send them, I'm gonna take them, take them in the order that they come in, okay? Yeah, that was a nice game. Notice that we didn't do anything crazy. Our opponent just uh, little by little gave us an edge. We converted that into something bigger and, and so on. Okay, so let me see. All right, guys, so I got, I don't know if you can see there, but I'm gonna take the next one. And okay, white pieces, let's do it. Sicilian defense. Okay, so I'm gonna play, I'm gonna play um, what I used to play when I first started. When I started to look into openings, I had, of course, one line against the Sicilian and I just chose the Alapin. Very interesting line, guys. You could play it directly with c3, or you could do knight f3, then c3. Let me see if I still remember. I haven't played this line in a long time. What do you mean? 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 There's only one meaning to that. There's only one meaning to that. Knight <laughs> um, four, c so takes four. Hmm. Okay, I think they have to play six first. So we go bishop b two. No, it was not bishop b two. 
Maybe G3, Bishop G2. No, you know, no. <laughs> no, nope, nope. Now, the thing with that, guys, is that, remember, I was born and raised in Cuba, so I guess we don't have that culture, I guess. Um, but yeah, no, I don't, I don't, I don't. <laughs> let's do let's do it doesn't matter okay guys so notice that we have the isolated queen pawn whenever i played i mean when i used to play the alapin this was thematic for me keeping the, the isolated queen pawn i'll get the we've talked about this you have the semi-open files, the outpost for the night. So I, w I was okay with that. <laughs> no, but you know, uh, most of the time, uh, as growing up in Cuba, it, we were just, like I remember it, like whenever there was a movie, like, like remember even television is, uh, how do you call it? Um, it is controlled by the, by the, by the government, right? So you, Watch a movie when they put the movie on the TV. You watch uh, cartoons when they put them a specific time for that. It's not like, oh, let me watch cartoons and so on. No. I remember cartoons were from 5.30 to 6. So everyone would rush, you have 30 minutes, and then they would put something else on the TV, right? But besides that, like we were just uh, out in the street just playing. Like we would be playing soccer, playing baseball, just getting into fights, anything. But like we wouldn't uh, really be watching TV all the time or anything like that. Like, we wouldn't have a lot of indoors time. So I guess that was the main thing. All right, guys, we castle. I guess bishop g7 is coming. Yeah, yeah, I'm just accepting, taking challenges, guys. Yeah, different world, different world, different world, different world. <laughs> you know, uh, I hope you're kidding. <laughs> I hope you're kidding. That's all I can say. No, you need to develop. What do you mean? <laughs> all right. So I don't have a, an isolated pawn anymore. Okay, don't tell anyone. Yeah, yeah, exactly. I, I know, I know. Um, exactly. Exactly. No, I, I mean, they, they keep the pair of bishops, so that's looking good. Now, the only thing is that if they allow me to keep it centered like this, I'm going to be okay with that. Queen b3 is coming. How about d5? They could play four. Mm. Let's do it. I'm doing great. How are you? Uh, challenge me. Well, you're going to see here my username uh, below the board, like under the board. And just fi find me and send me a challenge. <laughs> guys go to go to the youtube channel go in order at that rating you don't need an opening you just don't need an opening if you're there if you, if you want an opening go to lesson 31 30 no 32 we start talking about the 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 scotch the real lopez and on number 34 i think if you're gonna pick one i like that one which is the vienna with the finchetto all right guys forget about the isolated pawn this, this king is in the center Let's try to get him in trouble for that. Let's try to punish them. It's, it's completely up to you. 5-5 five, five is okay. 10 minutes is okay. But I was saying before, 5-5 uh, five, five is probably better than 10 minutes. Ooh, ooh, oh, 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 oh.
What to do, what to do. You know what? I'm gonna accept your 10 challenges, man. You're gonna have to play them all. Uh, there's so many options here, but I think I'm just gonna take the. I'm gonna take the bishop. All right, so you just joined. You just joined. I'm from Cuba, Cuba. Bring them on. They bring them on. I'm gonna play them simultaneously. Okay, so they saved the knight with a tempo, okay. But still, that king is not happy in the center. Yeah, it's just too many things. The rook is hanging, even if they move the rook, b7 is hanging, and so many things happening now. Hello, hello, hello. Now you guys, you guys are giving me a break. I'm getting lucky. But wait, wait just a little bit, a little bit longer for to see me blundering. Like crazy. Yeah, yeah, that's coming. Yep. Yep, yep, yep. So here uh, I mentioned b7, guys, because after knight c3, if they try to get off the uh, the d file, we got queen b7 or even bishop b7. Mm. Okay, so there we go. Now we don't really care if they take us. Mate? Oh, did I miss mate? Did I miss mate? Okay, so there you go. With or without them taking on the one, that was it. And again, guys, it was just that king uh, stuck in the center. Okay, so that was uh, Sicilian defense versus the Alapin. I mean, Alapin versus the Sicilian defense. And here we go. So next game, I got black pieces. We're playing 5-5. Five, five. Let's do it. Now we already played the first game with the black. No, no, no. We played a few games with the black pieces. We played a king's Indian defense. We played a peers. Um, let's see what we get now as as black. Okay, my opponent is thinking. Nope. All right. So he says he has better things to do. <laughs> let's go to next one. And okay, five minute game. I gotta remember that this one is not. Uh, there's no increment, so I gotta remember that. You know, that's, that's what they say. That's what they say. Mm, okay, let me go here. Okay, another Sicilian. Should we play C3? Look, we play, we already played the, the, the Alapin. Let's play the close Sicilian now. <laughs> or maybe I'm, I'm promoting it here. <laughs> okay, so let me go G3. So we're playing the close Sicilian. If you look, guys, it, it seems a lot like the the Vienna that we learned on lesson 34. Okay, I'm gonna go with the three, or should I go? Now, nah, let me play the three. Mm -hmm. Ah, okay, okay, next one we play the Grand Prix, okay. All right, all right, all right. Now, this is interesting because we were talking a minute ago that many of you guys don't need openings depending on the level that you are at. But if you're gonna pick one, I like what we covered on lesson 34, the Vienna with the Finchero, because this you could play it against anything. Um, Sicilian, uh, English, I mean English, uh, French, anything. Even though we covered it against E5. Okay, so taking with the pawn, interesting. I'm gonna take with the knight. I like my bishop on G2. I could take or not. You know, bishop G5 was interesting. Okay, so look. 
Just from the beginning, I could chop off the pair of bishops. Let me go here first. Okay, so they wasted a tempo right there. I'm going to use it to... Mm. Okay, let me just castle. I was looking at this. Got to be careful. Now, taking with the pawn, taking with the bishop. I'm going to take with the bishop. I don't want to trade queens. I want to get to see if they castle and we try to go and attack. Attack, attack, attack. Energetic moves. I salute you. Let's go in. So just as in the other game, they're behind the development. King's, King is in the center. Why wait? Let's start putting pressure. <laughs> okay, F4, F5. Hmm. Bishop C6, interesting. Okay, let's pretend like we know what we're doing. Let's try to be energetic. If the king is in the center, f5 makes sense. If they castle, f5 makes sense? No, f5 doesn't make sense. Yeah, playing viewer, guys, playing viewers. Or viewers are playing me. <laughs> now, I mean, bishop to six, I don't think it offers much, to be honest. I don't think it offers much. Hmm. Okay, let me go with f5 now. Now, of course, candidate moves, we're taking on b7, taking on g6, but again, I don't think they offer a lot. If they take us, we bring the knight towards the king's side. Or even the rook, oof. Which one do we want? Okay, let me take it uh, with the rook. The thing is that there's this annoying move that <laughs> I had to be careful with. I was ignoring it, but we cannot ignore it forever. Mm -hmm. hmm. Take with the rook, take with the queen. Now, we talked, guys, on lesson 107, I think, we talked about the Karpovian style. We talked about how we always think of, oh, rooks on open files, but we also need the rooks to be on open ranks. So, let's see. All right. Now, pieces are active, tactics have to be, tactics have to be in the air. Rook d5, no. All right, we're dancing on the light squares. All of our pieces are on light squares. I have a feeling our pieces are too active. There has to be a tactic here. There has to be a tactic. Queen g6, knight e7. No, it doesn't work. How about rook f7? There has to be something here. <laughs> what? Knight f6. Now, also, we don't need to get ahead of ourselves, guys. No, no need to play too fast. I mean, this is pretty, pretty unusual. Like they're letting us put the pieces around that king. Cement, cement this here. <laughs> mm. 
Just send me a challenge. Send me a challenge. Yeah, there's no increment. True. Now, what do you mean, Richard? Come on, man. Come on. We did tactics on Tuesday. There has to be something here for us. Now you're going to see me getting checkmated. That's classic. <laughs> there has to be something. There has to be something. What could it be? Cha, cha, cha. has to be something. Did we get a chance now? going for it guys <laughs> we got 25 seconds to to make this work Got lucky, got lucky, got lucky, <laughs> good game, good game, uh, shouldn't, have, shouldn't have happened, shouldn't have happened, uh, I'm curious if we had a tactic there, oh, okay, no worries guys, just don't, don't tell anyone, alright, let's go to the next one, let's go to the next one, and full, let me see, 5-5, five, five. didn't I play you already, what's going on with you guys? Okay, 5-5, five, five, E4, I promised. Mm -mm. Like, a, like a baby, I'm like a baby. It's just, it never happens. When you see someone getting so happy, it's because they never get to do something like that. So they're like, I'm gonna tell everyone, I'm gonna call someone and let them know. <laughs> okay, so here we go. Look, we're playing the same nice E3 with um, against e5 this is how we covered it on lesson 34 we played it against uh, Antonio or Agan Mater on lesson 94 and g3 let's do it Guys, end games, end games, end games, train end games. Uh, I've said it before. If you go to the YouTube channel, you go to the playlist. There's a playlist on end game. If you cover that, but cover it, it's basic stuff. But if you really memorize it, you really learn it, you really learn the ideas, you can say you know more end games than many 2,000 players out there. So just you don't have to read an entire end game book. It's overwhelming. Just make sure you get those under control. The um, Lucina position, Philidor, basic in upon end games. 
opposition, triangulation, all of those things, okay? Uh, bishop g2. Now, we talked about this. Uh, if they take on c3, we get the semi-open file along with the bishop. How, how long have you been on it? How long have you uh, have you been on it? Mm -hmm. Opposite side casting attack. Oh yes, let's do it. Okay, let's ask about this bishop, because if they don't take us to open up lines for my rook, then I'm gonna use a3 to play b4, b5. This is a different story now. Okay, I guess they pre-moved. I guess they pre-moved. Guys, don't pre-move unless you are really low on time. Brian, how are you, mister? Oof, long time no see, long time no see. <laughs> <laughs> no man road to helping more people uh are you still playing chess are you in the music what are, what are you doing well i guess we'll talk we'll talk but nice to nice to have you here okay um okay guys let's see if, let's see if we can let's see if we can pretend like we know what we're doing rugby one makes perfect sense 94 i like Okay, let me play 94. Hello, hello, hello. What's up, what's up? Lesson 31, okay, there you go. Uh, little by little, guys, follow, it, follow those lessons in order, uh, complemented with, by doing tactics, regularly playing your games, analyze your games afterwards, that's what matters, okay? No, no, he's coming out now in November. Like in the next few days, you're gonna see you're gonna see him out again. Like he just told me. Yeah, that's all, that's all we're doing today. Just accepting challenges and trying to survive. Lesson forty. You know, you're just getting into probably one of the most important lessons, which is uh, the pawn structures, like how to play with or against um, backward pawns, isolated pawns, uh, doubled pawns. We talked about past pawns as well. It seems basic, but extremely, it's extremely important. Hmm. Completely up to you, completely up to you. If you want to donate or take some of my rating, you could send them challenges, uh, rated, I'm sorry. If not, if not, you could send them <laughs> unrated. I don't know if you I don't know if it wins a pawn, but it it seems nice. Nice. Maybe it's a blunder, but it looks nice. Okay guys, let's chat everything down. He's Del Del, Del is here. <laughs> Welcome aboard, mister. Welcome aboard. You know, um, I gotta go with Magnus, guys. I gotta go with Magnus. I gotta go with Magnus. Now, now they're both great. There's no doubt about it. But if you make me pick, I'll go with Magnus. Like I always studied uh, Hikaru a lot, especially since he's a Kings Indian defense player. I, when I was learning the Kings Indian, I reviewed so many of his games when I was in Cuba. I didn't even know anything about him. I only, I would only see a picture of him, like serious in white and uh, black and white. And to me, he was just a Japanese, <laughs> a Japanese grandmaster until I got here, right? But uh, and he has, he's a great player. But I don't know. Somehow, Magnus is just a little bit, little bit different. There's something about this this guy. 
All right, guys. So with that said, take the rook like the bad players we are, or should we continue to attack? I mean, anytime I would just take the rook, and I'm already, I'm happy with that. But it, somehow it doesn't seem like the best move. Thank you, Mister. Thank you, and again. Thanks for dropping by. Happy to see you. No, guys, I'm, ha I'm happy. Like, this guy is like uh, Hikaru, all of these guys who do this, uh, like, they put so much effort into it. They're really talented. Uh, I'm happy when they accomplish this goal. So, so happy for them. Um, and I'm not surprised. It's really, really good. It's just really good. And everyone knows that. Mm -mm 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 -mm. Uh, yeah, right now I'm in Miami, Florida. You know, thanks, thanks a lot, but it's just you, man. If you're putting in the work, if you're putting in the work consistently, there's only one thing could happen. And, it, and that applies to anything in life. Anything you put your time into, it's just going to happen. Okay, so... Let's go with that. Let's keep that knight again. We could have taken the rook, but it's just too powerful to just make it go. Yo, Roberto is there. I thought you heard you were gone, but now you're there. Just you're there. You're there. <laughs> yeah, guys. If any of you come to South Florida or you're, you're here, feel free to check out Miramar Chess Club. Google it if you don't know where they are. Ooh, is this a checkmate? This is a nice checkmate double check boom nice one all right so let's go congrats guys congrats <laughs> and roberto is playing a big tournament here in miami now in a, in a few weeks in a couple weeks so that's exciting that's exciting um okay so let me go to see my next opponent mm. all right e4 i promised Yeah, guys, the thing is that we prioritize YouTube, like everything that we're doing, the, the course, the lessons are on YouTube. I just have, when I'm streaming, I have the option to switch something and it sends it to, to Twitch as well. Okay, my opponent, E4, he, he's not ready to play against E4. I understand. I've been there myself. <laughs> All right, E4. Okay, so we already played the Vienna. Let's play King's Gambit. No, no, let's play another three first. Should <laughs> I go D4? Do I remember? How? Look, this is, guys, when I started playing the opening, I told you, I mean, learning openings, I told you I used to play the Alapin against the Sicilian against E5. I used to play D4, the Scotch. Uh, sometimes with an nice three first and D4, but let's go with D4. Ah, the Halloween. I think that one. I think that one is ninety three, ninety six, and then ninety five. But it, it it cannot be good, by the way. Ah. <laughs> okay, so. Mm, okay, look look at this. We just transposed into the four knights scotch. Yeah, because the thing is, it, that's your fault, because last time I came aggressive and you guys destroyed me, so I had to bring it down a little bit. <laughs> I didn't understand. I, underst I didn't understand this until I saw this. <laughs> Now, by the way, if you play this, notice that they took on d4, we take with the queen, and typically we say, don't get the queen out so early, but here is perfect, because my queen is in the center of the board, controlling everything, and they cannot make me move the queen again. If they play c5, yes, I have to move, but then 
Uh, D6 is weak, even D5. Okay, this is a fork. This is a fork. But they could do queen E7. And we could do a four. Hmm. Thank you, thank you, thank you. All right, let me see if I can honor... Let me see if I can honor this by, by winning this game. I, I almost make a mistake here. I almost made a mistake. Can we just go bishop g5? Let's go bishop g5. <laughs> All right. Look, this is this stream is about not telling anyone, so you're safe. I'm not even going to leave this on YouTube afterwards. We're going to take it down. We're going to take it down. Besides, you're not the only one. You're not the only one. Yeah, lesson 33, lesson 33. And for those of you who are not familiar with uh, what we're doing with the course that we're doing on YouTube, um, one thing that I like to do with my students is when, we, when it comes to openings, I like them to start with no openings at all, just play chess. But then we look at E4 openings first, E4, E5. You gotta have this exposure. Then you're welcome to go into D4, anything you like. Again, it's not set on stone, it's just the way that I like to I like to do it. Thank you. Exactly. Yeah, I yeah, know. I'm not and you know, it's not that I don't care, it's just that the I just don't know how to fix it. And I this software that I'm using is uh, I think that bringing they're coming up with an uh, coming up with an update to fix that. Um, but the the alternative that I have is using Twitch. No, not Twitch. Um, OBS. OBS. But uh, we'll see. We'll see. Just know guys, you can go to YouTube. We're here. We're here. We are here. Now we trade or check. Let's see if we can close this because our opponent already gave us a free piece. Let's see if we can close this quickly. Okay, so let's just go with this. Mm -hmm. hmm. Let me see how many moves <laughs> how many moves have we have we played so far? It's fifteen? Okay, let's see. I think we're gonna let's see if we can make it by 25 or something like that. Oh man, it almost works. It almost works. Cha cha cha. It almost works. No, no, no. Let's not get fancy. Yeah, yeah, yeah. That's why I said it almost works. No, I think they have King G7, right? They have King G7. I mean, we're up a piece, guys. No need to get fancy. No need to get fancy. Thank you. By the way, guys, if you haven't seen it, I just uploaded yesterday this playlist because some of you are like, oh, I want to listen to that music. I uploaded just the music. So it's the latest video that I, I uploaded. I know you don't need it, but some of you wanted it, so it's there. Come on, share, share your, your, your channel here, okay? So just put it here or put it in the comments and I'll be happy to make a post, guys. Anything. I also posted a video on what I use to stream. So, uh, any of you who wants to do it, that would be great, okay? Thank you, mister. Thank you. 
We don't have any Latin music there. We should do we should do one with <laughs> with that. <laughs> uh, check check check. Nope. Don't give your opponent. Yeah, you know, easy win, but you don't know how many times we blow this, right? So don't give your opponent any counterplay. No free pawns. No nothing. Let them make mistakes. Roberto, how are we doing? 25 moves. Can we do? Can we make checkmate in the next uh, seven moves? No, I don't think so. Guys, yeah, easy. Just chop off the pawns. But let me see if I can. Oof, we could make it in three moves. We could make it in three moves. No, 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 no. See, we don't need that in our life. <laughs> no, 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 no. Well, we've played it. We played the peers, King's Indian defense. We've had a little bit of everything here. Yeah, we're looking for that. Again, we don't need this. If you're playing in a, a game, you don't need this. Just chop off the pawns, promote, go with a safe bet. Okay, so what is this? Oh, okay, if we had checkmate now, we would be able to do it, but... Mm. Okay, so cha cha. All right, it took us probably longer than it should, but there we go. Okay, guys, next game, let's see. Again, I'm taking challenges as they come in, so I have this one for 10 minutes. And E4, let's do it. Okay, so let's go Knight F3. Now we already played the Alapin against the Sicilian, we played the close Sicilian. Now we're playing the King's Indian attack. Hey, hey. Mm -mm. Guys, again, if you go over the, the videos that we have, we have talked about the Collie, we have talked about the London, we have talked about um, the Lacey Catalan. <laughs> Uh, and of course, we have two very good lessons, actually so many lessons on the King's Indian attack, because many times I've, I've played it for you to see. So I think if I have to pick one, I would just go with the King's Indian attack, but we've talked about starting with Knight F3 first, and then we sort of transpose into it. Okay, so let me go C3. Yeah, this is the King's Indian attack. This is lesson 79 and lesson 80. If you go over those videos, you're gonna have this one under control. Uh, nah. Okay, let's ask that bishop, are you gonna give me the pair of bishops or are you gonna waste the move to go back? Uh, for that, just look at my username, search me up on chess.com, send me the challenge. And that's it. All the way to 187. Well, and 187 is coming out on Saturday. By the way, guys, on Saturday, there's one thing I wanted to do before we start talking about the uh, Queen Queen's Gambit uh, exchange variation. Uh, I think you pronounce caused bad. Carlsbad variation um, structure, which also you could see it in the Carol can and, and other openings. 
but we're going to be going deep into it. We're going to talk about the typical middle game positions, typical end game positions, and of course, the opening ideas for the Queen's Gambit exchange variation. So there's only one more thing I need you to get under control for this uh, lesson 187, then we start talking about it. Okay, Bishop went back, and we got romantic, romantic music now, so let's go. Mm, yeah. A4, trying to do an IC4. This looks a lot like the peers, the King's Indian defense, so we're using similar ideas. A4 to prevent B5. <laughs> glad to hear, so glad to hear. All right, so we know this. Nice, beautiful, beautiful city. We had we had a great time. Oof, I think it was 2019, 2019. We had a great time. Uh, guys, I don't care. I, I just don't care. <laughs> I don't care. Of course, we're friends. Like you could play. I'm providing you what I think could help you, but it's completely up to you. Like. Look, a lot of my students, not, not all of them play the, the pure defense. Uh, actually, most of them, they just prefer all the openings. I still, what, what I, when I play with my, I mean, when I work with my students, it's time to learn openings. We sit down and I tell them, look, this is the Sicilian. I show them a quick game. This is the French. This is the Carocan. What do you think? What, which one do you like? And then we go from there. That's it. Mm -mm. It's funny. I was uh, doing a live stream with... Uh, this uh, popular streamer, uh, he's from Spain, so he was in Spanish. And uh, I get on for a few minutes, and someone is like, uh, oh, wait, uh, Divi, but you, you hate the, the Pierce defense. And he, 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 they were just joking about it. And I know, many people don't like it, and it's fine, it's fine. It's perfectly fine. Mm -mm -mm -mm. Okay, G4, interesting, but dangerous. <laughs> Knight, Knight G1 might be the way to go. Or... I'm just gonna take what's going on. G5, not a five. Knight takes, yeah, knight takes, absolutely. No, no, guys, look, it, it makes sense. They're opening up the H file. I like what they're doing. I like what they're doing. But, and if we're not careful, tactics could be in the air. Like G5, there's some ideas with knight G4. This could get tricky. So I know I know what they're doing. Yeah, yeah, they are, they're coming back. It's just that, you know what, uh, wigs just roll in and roll out and I don't even notice it. When, they, when, when I see it's already Wednesday, oh, we have the stream tomorrow and I don't have time to set up anything. Okay, so now this is just no respect. <laughs> All right, you know what? I'm this close to just sacrificing my queen too. No, 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 we don't need that. Yeah, this is just not, this just doesn't make sense, guys. One thing that we're going to talk about on, or that we talk about on that lesson 187 that's coming out on Saturday is that if you're going to attack the king, you need more attackers than defenders. On the king side, they only have two minor pieces. I have my bishop, my rook, knight is close by, bishop is open now, my queen. I mean, they could, maybe they checkmate me like a baby, but I don't think it's going to be easy. Thank you, thank you. Okay, so you you mean the the typical end games? Yeah, we have to, we have to. I, you know, I haven't done it because there's so many other things I need you guys to get under control before we get to it. Because how often do we get bishop and knight end games? And they're a little bit tedious. <laughs> they're a little bit tedious. I gotta tell you that. Okay, so we chop you off. F four. Now I'm up significant material on exchange, a pawn. So the less pieces on the board, the better for me. But also, um, if we get to an end game, this is just easy. Hmm. 
No, that actually means never mind. If you see it in front of my name, or it's never mind. Just kidding, just kidding. National master, national master. Bad joke, bad joke. Sorry, sorry. Uh, Cuba, 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 Cuba. Mm -hmm. Well, you have to have that under control. You don't want to be like me that I remember when I came to the US, I played one of the first tournaments and uh, in one of my games, I got to a position where I had bishop and knight my opponent had, no, bishop, knight, and pawn. My opponent had only the rook and the king, of course. So they do rook takes pawn and leave me with bishop and knight. And believe it or not, I didn't know how, I couldn't finish it. It was the last game, everyone was around the table. And I tried to try to, couldn't, I couldn't make it work. It was so embarrassing. I went home, I haven't forgotten it again, but I had never had it. But one day you're going to have it, you, you want to know it. At least you want to know the main ideas, okay? Okay, how about a five, queen e one. Now remember, don't give your opponent anything, nothing. Saludos, saludos, Madrid, nos encantó Madrid. Estuvimos también hace poco en Madrid y nos encantó, la verdad. Uh, bueno, estuvimos pensando, bueno, ¿cómo hacemos para mudarnos para acá, para, para Madrid o Barcelona, cualquiera de los dos? Pero bueno, es complicado. Ya, <laughs> mm. yeah, probablemente that's because I'm doing, like, whatever goes to Twitch goes to chess.com. So maybe there's someone it just landed probably there's no one else streaming and, and they're just uh, seeing it for a few seconds but soon it probably goes down but again don't tell anyone just keep it 137 here we're on youtube having fun um, mm, 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 mm. california nice love california <laughs> or at least as, as to visit Okay, guys, so my opponent is definitely uncomfortable. Probably they're trying to find a way to get to the king. They sacrificed some material to expose my king. But again, they just don't have many pieces to convert that. You gotta have more attackers than they have defenders. Man, you just want trouble, right? You just want trouble. Exactly, we're trying, we're trying. Uh, no, you know, it does, it's one of those things that you don't think you need until you get to those positions. And, you know, it's boring, so no one likes to study that. Okay, guys, we got that one. Mm, okay, so let's go to the next one. And I got 5-5. Five, five. We're playing with the black pieces. Let's see what we get here. Okay, so not f3, not f6. Now look, we're gonna do our King's Indian defense. Nothing too crazy. And it looks like it's gonna be a little bit of a symmetrical setup, but let's see, maybe they play d4. If they play d4, there you go. So now we're getting into the Fianchetto variation against the King's Indian defense. When we talked about it on lesson 180 something, I gave you like three ways to play against it. Now, they play knight c3, if they play e4 now, this is going to be more like a Pierce defense. So you see, you have to be comfortable with these transpositions, guys. All right, so... Nice C6, or C6, even C5 is interesting. Look, I could play C5 if you play the Sicilian defense, so that's why it's always good to be familiar with different openings. You never know where you could, when you could get ideas from one into the other. Um, let me go nice C6. Inviting them to play D5. Compromise the center. Yeah, that Tato went to that Olympiad. He was the mascot and he never came back. So we're still waiting for him. 
Okay, this is you? So this is you? No. This is you? <laughs> okay, you gotta just drop the name here. We're gonna go, we're gonna go you get your money back. We're gonna go claim that money back. <laughs> okay guys, same situation as in the other game. Um, they have to now decide, are they going to give us the Pro Bishops or are they going to waste the move to go back? Yes, they sort of uh, made me play h6, which they could target after, but not so easy to justify. Now, Bishop or Pawn? Uh, let's keep the Pawn structure healthy. Pretend like we know what we're doing. Let's see. Okay, officially we're playing Pierce Defense. E4, D6. If we play hypermodern openings, don't forget, we have to sooner or later claim the center. Um, that's it. He takes D5. Now, this very important. We had a lesson, guys. I think lesson one... 50 something. We talked about Kasparov and Ding, how they deal with this block bishop. We gotta find a better diagonal for it. Don't forget that. Um, if they don't take us, or even if they do, knight d4, interesting. Bishop e6, very easy to play this position. Hey, 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 how are you doing with those uh, blindfold exercises? <laughs> you know, after I read your comment yesterday, I was thinking that maybe I just do, just like I put some random exercises on the community tab, I could put some simple blindfold exercises. Oh, oh what did I do? Okay, so knight d5. Let me go back. Uh, let me see, let me see. If she's probably having a nap, but at the end, I'm going to have her hover here, and uh, she probably could play a few games too. Let's see. What tournament what? What, what tournament what? <laughs> no, you know, King G7 probably was the accurate move. I just want to keep my bishops. I want to keep my pro bishops. I know they don't look nice right now, but I'm okay. I'm okay. So, bishop e6. I'm fully developed now. Little by little, we improve our position. This knight seems powerful. Okay, now look at this. We got d5 and knight on d5. That's not a weak square, so we could kick it out any time. d4 is auto is uh, officially a weak square, a good knight outpost, because there's no pawn to kick me out. So I'm ready to do c6. Let's see. Let's play some chess. Mm. Okay, get out of here. <laughs> bye bye, okay. Roberto, you know what I'm gonna ask you, right? You know what I'm gonna ask you. Absolutely, absolutely, absolutely. Uh, it, it, whenever that happens, I'm gonna make an announcement. And you know, I I was there before, not not to play chess. I was just you know getting to know the the zone. Uh, but next time, I, I definitely have to make an announcement. Exactly. Do how post love you back, Roberto? That's the question. Okay, if you if you're being serious, then you have to go back to lesson 52. We had. Great lesson on, on outpost, a little bit long, but if you go over it, you're not gonna have any problem with, with them anymore. Okay, so I'm gonna take that. B2 is interesting, but I'm gonna take this one. Also guys, regardless of the tactics that might be in the air right now, Rook D8, getting on the same file as the Queen. Oh, 
Do we have anything here? There's a, there's a doubled check here, guys. There's a double check here. We don't have anything? I mean, this is a free night. But what if I go here? There's no smother mate. There's no, there's no smother mate. There's no smother mate, man. <laughs> All right. Come on, guys. Come on. <laughs> Help out. There's mate? Nah, you, you, you're kidding. You're kidding. There's no, there's, there's no way there's checkmate here. Hola, 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 hola. Como esta todo? Como esta todo? No, there was, there's no way that we had mate. Uh, it was mate? What? How do you see mate here? No, there's no way. There's no mate. You're messing with me. I know you're messing with me. Knight f3, and then they go here. I don't see mate. You could, the only other check is queen g1, they take, and you don't have this, the mate. Thank you, thank you. You know, I don't, I don't. To be honest, I, I don't, I don't. Okay, let's activate. Ninety-two, ninety-three. No, but the pawn takes. H pawn takes G three. Now, guys, this should be pretty easy to finish now. So we just need to make sure we don't blunder, and we should be fine. <laughs> You're like, yeah, yeah, sure. Thank you for nothing. Not blundering. Okay, okay, okay. I feel better now. Um, trying to, trying to. Just trying to. You know, I just made that was that was a bad move what I did there. Trying to be fancy and that was unnecessary. Oh, it's fixed, so you it's it's synced the audio now. <laughs> now I think it's just for a little bit. It, it just from time to time it just gets. Uh, I don't know. I don't know. No need, exactly. Thank you. No need. But, you know, we like to pretend like we know what we're doing. No, no, no. Audio on YouTube is always fine. It's Twitch. It's just that when I send it to Twitch as well, something happens on Twitch. I don't know what it is. All right, guys. Let's see if we can finish this. All right. We got that one. Let's go to the next one. Mm -mm 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 -mm. Okay, let me see. Let me make this full. And okay, so next one I have. Look, this one is not taking it. I don't know if my opponent left. Not coming in either. Nope. Okay, we got this one is what? 3 2. Let's do it. I promise to play 4. Let's do it. Mm. Okay, Petrov defense. Always when I, when I first started, this is what I used to play. Nice C3. And sometimes it transposes into the Fortnite. No worries, no worries. Um, yeah, the, the discovery check was the main thing. Rook F1, you had it, but the main thing was that discovery check. We have to pay attention to that. And that's just simple tactics. So now, if I were you, I would go and do 50 discovery check exercises. Get that under control. We play not F3 today. You know, I should have played King's Gambit. No, this is not you. This is not you. Is this you? <laughs> okay, this is a very, believe it or not, theo very a classical, very classical line. <laughs> 
Okay, this guys, this reminds me lesson 66 when we looked we looked at that game from Capablanca, beautiful game. This is going exactly as that game. I don't think my opponent is going to let me do what Capablanca did, but no. I won't be allowed to do that. Now, so far, all we're doing is developing our pieces, controlling the center, and castling, nothing else. Uh, what do you mean? What do you mean? No, no, no. Basically, like the, the lessons on YouTube, I just put them in order that you that I think you guys should follow. Like lesson number one is the chess pieces on the board, right? Number two, how the pieces move and so on. Then it got more complicated. Like 52, we talked about superior strategy and then we continued with middle game, opening uh, and end game just in the order that I want you guys to follow. Like we're going to start learning now about the, the Queen's Gambit uh, exchange variation, but we are only going to do it after you have the foundation that I need you guys to have. And that's gonna be the case for other openings as well. So it's just it's just the order that I think you guys should follow. Okay, I don't want him to take my bishop, plus this knight is a little bit weird on h5, I'm gonna leave it like that. Knight d5 is in the air, rook a to d1. Notice how all of these um, games, basically the pieces are telling us where we should put them. Uh, hmm. Who knew what to do, huh? Who know what to do? Okay, let me do it. See what happens. Um, no, it's my full name. You just put Robert. Okay, let me put it here. Look. And remove this. There we go. So there you have it. There you have it. Maybe I should leave that full time now. <laughs> queen before. Ah, yeah. Queen before is interesting, actually. Okay, no, no, you know, I think they had to do G6. Then if G4, knight G7. Yeah, that's a free knight. That's a free knight. Mm -mm -mm -mm. You know, I promised to play four only, but yeah, let's do it. Let's do it. Let's do it. Oh, yeah, but you know what? I'm not even gonna get into that, because um, I mean, if he said it, I believe it, because he's a grandmaster and he's coached so many grandmasters, and he explained right. But you know, I guess he's assuming that that person has a a a, a great talent for chess. That, that's a different story. Talent could go as far as you want, guys. Um, hard work could take you as far uh, as possible, but. Uh, talent is going to take you as far as you want to go so if you have the talent by all means like i know a lot of uh, uh queen h6 should we do queen h6 queen f6 mm. like i know a lot of uh players who are grandmasters from from cuba and they didn't have access to engines or anything like that of course now with more and more people having access to engines uh you sort of feel like you need to as well but these guys in Cuba, like we're like 20 years before everyone else, right? So when there's a new piece of technology in the US or any other uh, developed country, we get it in Cuba like 20 years later. So probably many of these guys, they were playing against, when they would go to the Olympiads or tournaments out of Cuba, they would play people who had access to engines. But, you know, they were talented, they would work a lot consistently, and they just pay space off. <laughs> And if you think about it, like, I don't think the engine is gonna do that much for you. Especially um, if you're a player who plays um, positions that are not, um, you know, people are not expecting you to play certain positions. 
and you outplay them. Like look at Carlson. Carlson outplays all of these super GMs in very quiet, boring positions. So it has nothing to do with the engine. Maybe he has some positions worked that he knows what to do, what the plans are, but it cannot be the case for every, every position. He's just very talented. That's that's just the way. But again, that's just my my opinion. Oop, do we have increment? Uh, we have two seconds. Good. See, that's what happens when I start talking <laughs> nonsense. Okay, let's try to get to that king. Mm. Made in two? I missed it. Did I miss it? No, the best I have against a grandmaster is a draw. That's it. That's it. I mean, over the board on here online, yes. I, I've posted some videos where I have gotten them uh, playing on Title Tuesday. Uh, so that makes me feel better. <laughs> All right, guys. So let me see. Next game, I got. Okay, so these ones already, they're not working. So probably my opponent's left. Well, got this one. Let's do it. Playing a 1600 opponent. We gotta be careful. Yeah, I played him once at the beginning. Like when I came to the US, I started to, I started to play some tournaments. I played him once and he, he defeated me. He defeated me. Okay, so we had a lesson on this, four pawn attack. Happy when they play this, we know. It looks intimidating, but we got this under control. And I think that's lesson, uh, I wanna say 89 maybe. So E5, we talked about this. They play d4, man. What can I do? They play d4. Yeah, we we got a few more. We got a few more minutes. Now guys, pretend like you're playing this. What would you do, okay? Momo, 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 I don't know, Momo, I don't know what happened to Momo, he just decided to leave, that's it. He left and never came back. <laughs> What's what? What's what? No, 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 what do you mean endgame? What do you mean endgame? I mean, this is, yeah, you mean for the because of the isolated pawn? Oh, this is just getting started. This is just starting to become, to get fun. Uh, okay, let me just develop my pieces. Let's not get fancy. Uh, we know, man. We know. And I think you said something like that at some point. 
Why? We've been missing you here. We've been I've been able to play some games today just because you're not you're not here. <laughs> All right. It's pretty annoying, I have to say. Yeah, I wanted to do F6, but I got a little bit concerned about... What, was, what is that I didn't like? Um, F6. What is that I didn't like? Well, there was something I didn't like, and then I looked at Queen C8, and I looked, I saw Bishop E7. So, I don't know. I didn't, didn't like that. I gotta, you know, Richard, I gotta play some cha-cha-cha music for you to see what this is all about. Now, with no queens on the board, I'm not concerned about this, which should be fine. No, no, no. That actually, I was saying, yesterday I posted, if you go to the YouTube channel, there's, I just posted a video with this playlist. If you guys want to hear it, because some of you have asked, it's there for you to just watch, okay? But no, I, I didn't create it. I just found it, and I used it. <laughs> I found it, and I used it. Cha, 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 cha. Now, we, we've talked about knight versus bishop, lesson 74. So I'm happy to go into this end game with bishop versus knight. I'm, I'm, I'm assuming this is going to happen, or rook first, and then knight e2. So I like this. Okay. Thank you, sir. Thank you. Okay, so let me see. Sorry, I was just uh, trying to <laughs> decide. Mm. Well, if you look at, again, guys, I don't want to be referring you back to the YouTube channel, but we had like five lessons recently on how to convert an advantage. If you're winning, we've talked about how to convert when you're up material, uh, how to convert from material to positional advantage, because the idea is that if you're winning, you want to take that advantage, convert it into something bigger, and then convert it into something bigger. So we've been talking about that, talking about that recently. Okay, so. Mm -mm -mm. Hmm. 
<laughs> okay, now there's some pressure here. Can we play C5? And they go, hey. This would be interesting. I don't need that in my life. C5, pawn takes, C takes D4, Rook takes D4. We cannot take, so we have to go here. Oh, no, 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 and there are even checkmate pattern, checkmate ideas down here. So, no, no, no. It is annoying, but we're gonna take care of it soon. Now guys, if you remember when we talked about bishop versus knight, we said if we have the bishop, we want pawns on both sides of the board. Because the knight is a little bit clumsy going from one side to the other, the bishop could be in the center and controlling both sides of the board. Of course, we gotta activate the king. So now when the knight moves, and I'm assuming it's going to move, we trade, yep. Now this pawn is not annoying anymore, it's actually more of a weakness and it's time to activate the king. Remember, in the end game, we activate our pieces in order. At least I like to do it like that. The king in the end game, we say it is 3.5 points. So I, we activate it first, then the bishop, then we worry about anything else. Now, pawn move. I'm not even going to bother playing this. Or maybe I should bother. <laughs> uh, okay. Dun, dun, dun. No, I'm not going to bother doing that. Yeah, I've been there, been there, been there, done that. <laughs> you're like, yeah, at that point you're like, yeah, I was testing you. I wanted to see if you realized that this pawn was here. <laughs> okay, take, 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 free pawn, but then I'm not so sure about that. So let's keep the bishop, guys. Let's keep the bishop. No, 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 I don't think so. It just, you know, it, it might help with focus like i remember when i was in cuba we used to train at this place that was so loud like you could hear traffic people screaming and it was fine because anytime we go to a tournament if there was some kind of noise it wouldn't even it, it, it wouldn't even get to us because we were used to it but i don't think other than that it, it would do anything or maybe it puts you in a better mood who knows uh okay now i'm taking okay so now i'm not gonna go here they just leave so let's activate the king <laughs> now I like this pattern one scoring between the king and the knight diagonally the, that knight is not going to put us in check he's not going to put it, he's not going to attack this pawn there are two squares in between them two alright so move okay I almost did this but knights are tricky let's not forget that now, I like these pawns on light squares. I like these pawns on light squares. So let's try to keep them like that. H4, I'm okay with that. The knight is going to be on, at, at, the, at the edge. Let's see if I can make this work. No, 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 no. It's not going to be a draw. Okay, without this fork, let's go for that. Let's go for that. No, 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 this cannot be a draw. Now this is going to be like a wrestling match. Because look, I sort of like drag the king um, to this side and then I go to the other side. Now I'm probably talking <laughs> nonsense, but I like this idea. Opposition, so I made the king retreat because they thought I was going for this pawn. I was going for the pawn. 
But now I take a position. Let's see if we could go, if we could get towards this pawn. And again, guys, look at this knight. It's very clumsy. My bishop, in one move, could be controlling everything. Hey, hey, hey. That's the that's that's the term I was looking for. I think you have that in basketball too. No. Ah, I missed that move. Well, maybe maybe it's good. Yeah, that in the same pattern. We've talked about this many times. Two squares in between. We control the knight. Yep, 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 yep. Now we have three minutes to convert this. There's no need for us to hurry, guys. If we hurry, then we blow this endgame like, like we've done many times. So, I know. Okay. Now, be careful with those knight jumps. See, if the king were in there, that would be a fork. Now, I'm right in front of the knights. Give me the pawn. And again, this means in front of the knight, there's no check that the knight could do on my king. If I'm, again, one square in between diagonally, the same thing. If I'm two squares in between, the same thing. Okay, Mr. Knight, I think this pawn is ours. This pawn is ours. Let me go all the way back. Look, you see, two squares in between, I mean, one square in between diagonally, I'm safe. And this is important when you're playing, when you're in time pressure, you have a few seconds, you gotta, okay. Okay, wait, 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 wait. B5, B6. Come on, Mr. Knight. I mean, can we just take? They take, the knight is far away. Can we push or we just don't need this? This would have been nice. So B5, I go here. B4. Okay, this pawn is ours anyways. No, it's not. Oh yeah, it is, it is. Then I went from one square in between to two squares in between. We're safe. Yeah, 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 now it's winning, now it's winning. <laughs> thank you, thank you. No, you know, um, this is just when I do the live streams on YouTube, I also send them to Twitch. Uh, but sometimes we get some technical <laughs> problems with Twitch. <laughs> Maybe with a handicap. Maybe with a handicap. All right. All right, all right, all right, all right. Mm -mm -mm. No silly checks, no silly checks. Maybe you play C4 at some point. All right, so let me play c4. Um, now, c4 is because I'm thinking in a king and pawn endgames, they could do b3, a4, get an outside pass pawn. Maybe this is not accurate, but it seems, it seems nice. Now this is basic king and pawn endgame. We should know this by heart. And you see, now with my king so far, I don't have to worry about this. Okay, push. Opposition. Opposition. Now look, we could easily go and collect these pawns, but let's try to... Let's try to be fancy. So I was looking for that idea of uh, stalemate. Okay guys, uh, only one more game and then we're gonna leave it here. So let me see what we got. Uh, 
All right, there we go. Let's do it. And let's play D4. All right, only one game with D4. You got it, guys. You got it. I'm going to wrap it up after this one. Now, bishop, let's do bishop f4. So I'm going to try to do what we learned, what we covered on lesson uh, 58. So, yep, the London, but we're going to try to play it with opposite side castling attack. So let's see how that goes. Now, bishop g3, if they take, we open up the h file. <laughs> 59, uh, yeah, 59, 59, 59. Well, 59, 58, no, 59, 60, 61, and 62. All right, check. Oh, you made a mistake. <laughs> I made a mistake, silly mistake. Getting so happy all of a sudden. Yeah, shouldn't be happening. That shouldn't be happening. Yeah, the blunder. I was this close to just living without any blunders, guys. But let's see. It's going to make it interesting. All right. So my opponent gave us a break there. Guys, I'm going to leave it here. If you have any questions, let me know right now before we let go. Let me see if I can... Uh I don't think I have. Hmm. Why is this not showing? Oh, I think we're good to go. All right, sorry about that. Let me just make sure. Good game, guys. Bye bye. Mm -mm -mm -mm. Have a good day, guys. Thank you. Thank you for being here. You got it. And again, thanks for, for thanks for for being here. Keep doing what you're doing. Keep training consistently. It's not going to happen over time. It takes time. Okay, give it a good two years to see a significant improvement. Thank you, guys. Thank you. You got it. Bye, bye, bye. See ya. And don't forget, guys, lesson 187 coming out on Saturday. And see you for, for our tactics training live on Tuesday. Bye, bye. <laughs> pew, pew. <laughs> All right, guys. Have a good one.